Here's the best way to get your daily doodles into Photopia. I've got all these doodles from the past couple of years, including, if you'll notice, some that are on regular notebook paper, like this one. This is actually the same um, drawing, but I took multiple photos of it, like I keep requesting you to do, because as you can see, this has a single line around it. This one has a fat line around it that beefs it up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right mouse click on this character. I'm going to select preview. And you'll notice at the top it says open with B funky photo editor. Instead of opening it with this, I'm going to click this little triangle. And I've got Photopia already loaded on my computer. But what you'll need to do is go down here to where it says connect more apps. Up here in the search window, click there and type Photopia. And hit enter. Now, mine already has it installed. So yours, you'll just double click on this icon and then go back to here and select Photopia. After it loads, I'm going to show you how to save it in Photopia and also back to your computer. So without anything done on here, I'm going to double click this tab. Oh, there it goes. And I'm just going to name it Daily Doodle or DD. And then I'm going to put today's date, 092420, underscore first initial last name. And then I'm going to do underscore A. Just in case you want to color these more, more than once. In other words, if you want to change the colors. So I've got A as my first one. And then I'm going to click OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Publish Online, and select PSD Photopia.com. It says your picture will be published at Photopia.com under a public URL known only to you. Proceed. OK. So what that'll do is as soon as it's done thinking, it's going to publish it and open another tab up here. And the network's running really slow this morning. So this file looks the same as this one. And for the time being, it is. But here's the really cool thing, I think. Click one time up here and copy this URL. URL stands for Universal Resource Locator. Same thing as a website address. I'm going to right mouse click on this and select copy. Then I'm going to open another tab. I'm going to go to my drive, drive.google.com. I'm going to go into my seventh or eighth grade folder. And you should have a folder in here called Daily Doodles. So inside, remember that inside your seventh grade or eighth grade folder, you should have a folder called Art, the period number that you have me, so one, two, or three, underscore your first initial and last name, underscore what grade you're in. I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to create a new folder in here by clicking New Folder. And I'm going to call it DDs, which stands for Daily Doodle, underscore 
first initial last name. Remember to do your first initial and your last name. Underscore. And what period you're in my class. So I'm just going to leave it as, an, as, a, as a hashtag for now. And select create. Double click this. Then I'm going to select new. Google Docs. Blank document. And since this folder is shared, I'm going to click create and share. Then I'm going to click one time up here and type in daily Google. Utopia links. And down here, I'm going to select and do today's date. September 24th, 2020. Daily Google. Then I'm going to select Daily Doodle, or actually, let's select the date. Now, I've already copied this, this URL, so all I have to do here is, with this text selected, I'm going to add the link and paste in what I've just selected and click Apply. So here's the cool thing about this. I can start adding layers to this and do work on it. Just going to do some quick drawing on here. I'm going to call this layer. Uh, I'm going to double click on the layer over here and call this ink. And then I'm going to carefully make this a little bit smaller. You want your, you can actually see the shape of the paintbrush and the size of the paintbrush. So I'm just going to start carefully going over this. And I'm using a mouse. You can also use your finger if you have a one of those uh, netbooks that the school gave you. If it has a mouse or a uh, trackpad. I'm not sure what you all have at home, but I'm just going to carefully start going over this. One thing I want you to consider is your, your ink line doesn't necessarily have to be black. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk away from this right now by closing this. I'm going to leave. I'm going to close all these tabs. I can even close this, but I'm going to leave it open for the time being, because watch what happens when I click on here and click here to go to the link. Oh, the work went away. OK, you might have to publish it again. So let's let's try that. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to call it ink. The reason I use a different color than black is because this is if I tried to do black over the top of this, I might get lost as to where I was. So I'm going to paint it again. Except my brush is too small. And this time, let's see what happens if I save it. Okay, that brush is a little too big also, but let's go file save as psd this will save it to your desktop or your documents or somewhere on your device i'm just going to save it on the desktop for now and it's still it's still labeled by what i labeled it on that tab so i'm going to click save i'm going to also see if i can publish it online again I'm going to publish it online again, and it's going to open up another tab over here. And as soon as it as soon as it uploads here, I'm going to select this text, copy it, right mouse click copy, 
I'm going to go back here and I'm going to replace this link by clicking the plus and pasting it in there. So it changed it and updated it. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to close this one and leave that. Yep. And leave this one. And once again, when I click on this and go to the link, my work should be on here. There you go. So it's a little bit weird doing it this way, but for the time being, until I figure out how to save it permanently on Photopia's website, just continue to update it every time you make any change and then update the link here. And that way you always have access to your layered Photoshop document in Photopia.